So from the locking position and the leverage point it starts the forward swing. From here, the non-dominant hand starts pulling away. We start rotating the hips and the shoulders. The racket lags a little behind. So this is the way the forward swing starts from the locking position. Again, the locking position and the leverage, the hand pulls back. We open hip, shoulders, the racket lags a little behind and the position of the arm doesn't change until contact point. All we're doing is rotating hips and shoulders to be able to create that power from here all the way to here. That's the forward swing.